Hello everybody, welcome to House Life. In this video, I'm gonna use English all the way because of my fellows who do not Chinese, but I know my English is not as good as like somebody um, English is not my mother tongue, but I will try my best to use English. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna to talk in this video is about myself. My name is Hao Yong Lun. I am a Malaysian and from Kuala Lumpur. And I'm 21 years old and my hobby is playing badminton. Yeah, I like playing badminton a lot. So I graduated from CHKL on 2018. After that, um, I go to Singapore work for like almost one year and I continue to study. So I'm studying in STU now, which is Shantou University. So where is it actually? Shantou University is in the south part of China and in the Guangdong province. And I will do a video about my school when I go back to campus in the future. As you guys know, of the corona pandemic is so serious all around the world. So I have stuck in Malaysia for one year plus. And I hope to get back to school soon. Everyone will so right. Yeah. I miss my school. I miss my friends. I miss everything in China. So sad. So more detail about myself. What am I studying right now? Currently, I'm taking Applied Chemistry as my degree for 4 years. So, some people will say, Oh, what is the differences between Applied Chemistry and Chemical Engineering? So, I'm not going to talk in detail about what is the differences between Applied Chemistry and Chemical Engineering, but I will talk about it roughly. Applied Chemistry is generally what the chemists who work in industry do R&D departments for consumer goods companies is all applied chemistry creating and modifying materials is applied chemistry and chemical engineering doesn't really have much to do with chemistry itself and covers more like plant design process design etc specifically regarding the manufacture of chemicals so chemical engineering don't have to have an in-depth knowledge of chemistry but you do need to do the typical engineer thing and take pre-existing data and model new processes around it So in one word, chemical engineering So in one word, applied chemistry is more detailed like in chemistry itself while chemical engineering's core is engineering itself so now I'm gonna talk more about my major applied chemistry. So the main courses is bio, physics, chemistry, and MX. So uh, more detail about my major. First of all, I want to say about bio. I think bio um, is just a simple bio. I can say it's simpler than secondary school syllabus. Like in secondary school, we learn a lot like menstrual cycle, ovulation, and more. It's like a lot of things, messy and more complex in secondary school that we learn. But in university, we more focus in like cell, like DNA, like protein, their usage and their applied. How they come from, how we use it, and how we synthesize that. Yeah, it's much more easier, I think, when we compare to secondary school. Like, university is much more detailed, much more specific. But I want to mention is bio is not the major of chemistry, so it's like, just let it go. Let it go, let it go. And the second subject is physics. Physics got two main courses that I study in two semester. In year one, sem two, I learned mechanics and thermodynamics. Actually, it's same what I learned in secondary school, but it's much detailed. Like a lot of formula proving by using the um, differentiation and integration. And in year two, sem one, I learned wave oscillation and light. And it's not like what we learn in secondary school, like reflection, refraction. It's much more about the experiment proving 
and formula proving yeah it's more tough and more hard you have to use a lot of differentiation and integration when we prove this kind of formula okay in max two main courses in at max are differentiation and integration this is the first one and linear algebra for me differentiation and integration are much easier because i learned a lot in my secondary school even though my result is not good in secondary school but in the long term of learning of integration and differentiation um, you can get through it everything is same as secondary school so my result is quite good in university and for the linear algebra as well in the linear algebra two focus point is matrix and determinant so this is the courses in mx i think mx is quite easy la when we compare to other subjects in university so lastly I want to talk is chemistry I'm gonna say chemistry is kind of hard and a lot of a lot of subjects is not like chemistry itself so in chemistry a lot of courses so far I learned organic chem inorganic chem analytic chem synthesis of inorganic compounds and yeah so far it's like that everything i learned is more detailed and more hard and a lot of theory a lot of equation a lot of formula in next few semester i'm gonna learn more like physics chem structural chemistry instrumental chemistry and more like synthesis of organic compound and more and more and i'm gonna mention that in applied chemistry course lab class and experiment class is a must so i mean it's a very important thing in applied chemistry course we do a lot of experiment in every semester like almost eight times of different experiment in a semester so as you can see if eight times eight is almost 64 experiments it is a huge number so you must get through it you must get used to it you'll be very tired yeah you'll be very very tired so far i have done one semester of lab class because i stuck in malaysia almost one year plus and i miss a lot of lab class so i gonna to redo it when i go back to campus i know it's shit but no choice at all because <sighs> so sad so this is what I learned in so far I learned in my course applied chemistry what can I do after my graduation I think this is the question that everyone wants to know more or what what job I can do after my graduation so from my research actually a lot because chemistry is a huge field it's covered a lot because everywhere is chemistry like okay. jobs that really, uh, Jobs that directly related to applied chemistry included academic researcher, analytic chemist, biotechnologist, chemical engineering, clinical scientist, forensic scientist, nanotechnologist, pharmacologist, research science, scientific laboratory technician, toxicologist, and many many more. So you have to do some research that related to your own job that you want to do in the future. So guys, I gonna mention uh, I'm not an expert in giving this information, but um, this is my own opinion. So you guys got any idea or more detailed information? You can comment down below. Thank you. So this is all about myself. Um, thank you for watching until here. Love you guys. Bye bye.